judgment here. I thought it was time to return to my series of item drop videos and as I said at the end of the last video this one will be about the wizard spike bone knife. I consider this to be one of the best unique items in the game because if you have reserved enough points in dexterity and you're trying to play your way through the game or even as end game gear the wizard spike bone knife offers solutions to any problems you are having with either fast cast rate, resistances or mana. It is, as you will see, rather easy to find. I have used the Wizard Spike across a variety of characters down the years I've been playing Diablo 2 and I thought I'd start with a piece of real nostalgia. This is a screenshot taken from Battle.net on the 31st of August 2003 at about quarter to six Sunday afternoon. It is my summoning necromancer Judgment who is about to hit level 99 and did so approximately 30 seconds later because I have another screenshot showing the experience bar having moved to level 99. However, it's the weapon that I will bring your attention to and this was a wizard spike that I did not find myself. It was given to me by another player on Battle.net. I did screenshots of all the gear that this character had when he reached level 99 and you can see here that the wizard spike bone knife is one of them. He was also, when I had a look at the screenshots, equipped with two stones of Jordan. And I don't ever recall ever finding any or being given any, but if I look at the screenshots, they are clearly there. That screenshot was taken about August of 2003, and later on that year, I created Sigma the Bone Mancer in single player. And he went on to progress through LOD, through all the patches, into D2R and recently reached level 99. I will show you a couple of other characters still in Lord of Destruction who have used or are still using the Wizard Spike Bone Knife. This one here is Blood to the Barbarian. Originally he started out as an Immortal King Barbarian but he's been through a few respects and currently he is a Frenzy Barbarian and this is a character I've left in Lord of Destruction in case I, I should feel inclined to go back and hunt for Tyrell's Might, the only item I never found in Lord of Destruction. His cast rate gear consists of two Heart of the Oak Flails for a total of 80. That 10% fast cast 8% lifesteal ring and that 17 fast cast amulet which gets him past the 105 breakpoint. Now that amulet took quite some crafting to get so here was his previous casting setup. To get to the 105 fast cast breakpoint he was using two wizard spike bone knives and this amulet here when you create a caster amulet you're guaranteed a minimum of 5% fast cast so with two wizard spikes and that amulet there and note the 24 magic find he has hit the 105 fast cast breakpoint. We are still in Lord of Destruction and this character here is Agniastra my fire sorceress. This was the first character I played through the game on stream and her in-game gear consists of a wizard spike with a facet jewel in it. Because she has such high resistances by virtue of the wizard spike it doesn't take much extra gear to get her up to full resistances. So there is a sanctuary troll nest and between those two, 75 there and 69 there, she already has 144 of the necessary 145 you need in a hell level game to maintain full resistances if you've done all the annual quests. There is a 220 fast cast amulet 
that somewhere on this gear, yeah, there is an all resistances 1010 10 fast cast amulet, and that gets her comfortably over the maximum resistance of 75. Sigma the Bowmancer used the wizard spike as his main weapon for many years. Here is my first ever upload to YouTube with Sigma finding the Ariat face Slayer Guard and using the Blade of Alibaba on switch. Eventually he upgraded his gear to Heart of the Oak and Homunculus. Now I'm planning a character that uses a Act 5 Barbarian Mercenary and that would be fairly obviously an excellent addition. 20% bonus to attack rating would be very handy. Oh! That's made worth sitting up um uh, worth the trouble. What you have just seen there is Nereza, my traps assassin, finding a jar rune while leveling. What I did with Nereza was play her through the game as solo self found and then upgrade her gear as she leveled up. And part of that progression was to use a wizard spike bone knife. She has now reached level 99 and currently uses a silence military pick and you can see there is one thing in common with the wizard spike bone knife, it's all resistance is 75. A wizard spike bone knife would be far easier to find than the runes for silence, but the principle is much the same. Having built up your resistances so much on the weapon, you can devote a great deal of your other gear to magic find. The last character on which I use a wizard spike bone knife is Twinset the Barbarian who reached level 99 a couple of weeks ago. You might remember Bludge of the Barbarian back in LOD had twin Heart of the Oak flails to get his cast rate up. In D2R playing as a frenzy barbarian I prefer to have the attack speed so here I've tried to get his cast rate up by using a wizard spike in each hand and one 10% fast cast ring. He still passes the 105 fast cast breakpoint, but in this particular case, I thought High Lords was a better choice given that this character plays in a number of terror zones which don't exist in LOD. It's time to have a look at the recorded drops that I have made of the Wizard Spike Bone Knife. I normally put how many of the item I am featuring in the introduction, but in this case it is so numerous I'm going to set people a small puzzle, and that is to count the number of wizard spikes that feature in this video. I'm about to finish the January 2024 drops video, and there are two more wizard spike bone knives in that, and I'm going to start numbering the wizard spikes within that video. Let's have a look at all of my recorded drops of the Wizard Spike Bone Knife. Oh, and there's the Wizard Spike Bone Knife. I can't. Dexterity 75. 45, yeah, some levels, but uh, to go, but I've said it before, one of my favourite uniques. I think I've got more than enough of them, but we'll just put that one there for the moment. And it is a unique ring. And there is the blessed uh, wizard spike bone knife. I have more than enough of those. But uh, one of the, yeah, great uniques of the game in my opinion. But I have plenty of them. The drop is... oh. And there's the wizard spike bone knife again. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the wizard spike bone knife. Always give a cheer for the wizard spike bone knife. Yeah, I think it's a great unique given how easy it is to obtain. And uh, 
what it can do for caster characters. Oh, we must stock up on those too. Run 2280. And there's the wizard spike. Oh, knife. Another room. And the wizard spike bone knife. Where's the wizard's bike? Oh dear me. Off a fast of all things. Run 15,008. Oh, a wizard's bike and a set amulet. Don't think we're going to worry about the wizard's bike. Have enough wizard's bikes as much as I always like them. Wizard Spike. Always give a cheer for the Wizard Spike. Oh, another Wizard Spike. Well, I've got one. There's one in the stash. How many do I need? Oh, the Wizard Spike. Oh. Probably. Always give a cheer for the wizard spike people. Probably my favourite unique. Oh wizard spike. Well Ah. Uh, don't think I need another one, but always a worthwhile drop. <laughs> oh, was a spike. Wizard Spike. Goodness knows how many Wizard Spikes I've found down the years. There's our current one. We can't do any better. I know I have enough of them. I, even with the couple I have on uh, Bludger, we certainly don't need another one. Oh, a Wizard Spike. Well, everyone's exactly the same, but... Oh, a wizard spike. Well, still arguably my favourite unique, certainly for casters. What it can do for your character compared to the ease of finding it. But, I don't need another one. Oh, what was it, Spike? Well, I suppose you had to find one eventually. Oh, Wizard Spike. Well, always give a cheer for the Wizard Spike. If I had to pick one item that did more for any unique character overhead, that's it. Oh, a wizard spike. I can't carry any more. Always denote finding a wizard spike. Oh, a 
Oh, Wizard Spike. We'll give our traditional cheer for the Wizard Spike. <laughs> okay, people. Oh, we should always, as ever, give a cheer for the Wizard Spike. Oh, the wizard spike. I am overburdened. It's just a tradition. It's just tradition, isn't it, really? That we give a cheer for the wizard spike. Oh, let's give our traditional cheer for the wizard spike. Wizard spike. As if we stop and cheer for the wizard spike. Well, we'll just do what I normally do and now and get rid of it. Pretty well against Braille here. Oh, a wizard spike. And there, people, is my traditional cheer for the wizard spike. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know how many wizard spikes I've found the last couple of months. I think that's the fifth. Okay, we're going to put that one on the ground. But as I said, I cannot resist identifying and cheering for the wizard spike. Oh, a wizard spike. Push, yeah, let me, just let me give my traditional cheer for the wizard spike, people. Geez, I find a lot of them and I still rate it my favourite unique item. Oh, a wizard spike. We give our traditional cheer for the wizard spike. Oh, as ever, we give our cheer for the wizard spike. Oh, there is <laughs> yet another wizard spike. We shall stop and cheer for the wizard spike in a moment. Yeah, clearly a wizard spike. Uh, in my opinion, if you're playing a caster character, an item that solves all your cast rate, mana, and resistance problems in one hit, provided you 
put the necessary dexterity to one side. What a very first run of the night. Great axe we're not worried about, but there as ever is the ever reliable wizard spike. Now, we may even keep that one. I think I've certainly got enough of them, but at least the one I can claim in D2R. And we may start leveling up twin set to run four items. the monthly wizard spike. Oh, there's the inevitable wizard. <laughs> I must find one every month. As usual, there is a wizard spike. Oddly enough, I think that's the first one I've found for um, a couple of months. There's the, the the usual wizard spike. Did I get one last month? I certainly don't need another one. stop and give our traditional cheer for the wizard spike bone knife which I found a couple of days ago I must get at least one, I, I, I say I must look up one day just how often I have got the wizard spike bone knife since I stopped counting in fact. Now running twin nested wizard spikes on the other hand, we shall put that one down but there I at least call that the monthly wizard spike. 
Oh, okay, there's the wizard spike for the month. I'd be intrigued to go back and find out the last month I did not get a wizard spike. I must have, I could actually um, dial it up. Oh, there we go. There, people, is there. <laughs> there is the monthly wizard spike. I must go back through through my drop videos. I must go back and find the last month. It's been it's rather late this month, uh, but I must go back and find out the last month I did not find a wizard spike. Oh, and there it is. There is the wiz monthly wizard spike. At least the first one of this month, anyway. I suppose one day, as a joke, I should put up all the wizard spikes I've dropped. I can't anymore. Oh, there you go. Have to note that there is the uh, wizard spike for the month. Yep, seen enough of them. Oh, okay. There is a Nephrim which we want, a Sunder Chain which, may, which we may want. Lightning Miner 70 is perfect, we'll hang on to that. And a Wizard Spike Bone Knife. Which will constitute, I think, the uh, monthly Wizard Spike for July 2023. Ugh. Oh, there's that one we will denote. There is the monthly wizard spike bone knife. One day I'm going to put up a video of all the wizard spikes I have found. It must number close to... I must have found it about... Oh, pushing 50 times. Still think it's a great item, but I don't need it anymore. Hey, there we go. There's one for the month. There's a wizard spike bone knife. Okay, I don't think I've actually got one this month so far, but there is almost the inevitable wizard spike bone knife. Great item, though, I think it is. Oh, there we go. There, we shall identify it for the sake of the notoriety of it in my stream. There is a wizard spike bone knife. Oh. Like that, and to be fair, that's uh, one rare item there. There is Mavina's caster, which we'll keep to see if we need another one. I don't think we do, but of course we get a wizard spike bone knife. put that one down. There's a rare ring. Oh, okay, no, we get 
We get a wizard spike bone knife. That'll make the highlights. Stay a while. I want to go back to my item. Okay, so there is yet another wizard spike bone knife. I will say, people, I sort of did a sort on how many I've found um, up to the 30th of June this year. How many I've got recorded? It's about 60. A lot of... Oh, well, there we go. A standard... Okay. okay. We will take that. We'll take... Uh, we will identify it, because we always do on this stream. There is the wizard spike bone knife. Oh, as ever. I think that's our third to a month. There's a wizard spike. We shall pick that up. Identify that. And put it down. Oh dear me, once the racket dies down, for the sake of intellectual honesty, we pick up and identify the wizard spike bone knife. I think I found three or four already this month. Don't tell me, it is two. Alright. Yet another wizard spike bone knife. I'm just to keep there for the moment. Good to see you. Oh, there we go. Um, there's three things worth looking at. Actually, there's four things worth looking at. Above all, of course, a wizard spike bone knife. I think that's my fifth one this month. Oh, there we go. we get a wizard spike bone knife Oh, there we go. It had to happen. Okay, one of these days, people, I've promised everybody that I'll put up a video about how many times I find the wizard spike bone knife. I must have found it at least twice a month for the last three or four years. Yeah, cheers. Okay, I still think it's a great item, but, um, yep, it's going to have to go down.
Yes. That's about it for my recordings of the Wizard Spike Bone Knife. And if you look at the January 2024 Drops video, the last Wizard Spike in that Drops video will feature the number of Wizard Spikes that were in this one. For the next item drop video, I thought I might do a combination video of arguably the two most unwanted items in the game, the Immortal King's Soul Cage and Templar's Might. <laughs>